But I think the thing uh, that is, is probably the most obvious and was probably the most important is that what she built uh, was sustainable. Uh, what we were trying to build was unsustainable. It was unsustainable. We had some great professionals trying to help us, understaffed. Uh, we could not get all the people over that we needed. But it was clear that the medical clinics that we were building were unsustainable because we'd not put enough thought into how we were going to go ahead and, and man those clinics. We put a tremendous amount of thought into how we were going to equip them, but the equipment that we were bringing in had, had no um, logistical tail in Iraq. The minute it broke, it broke. It, it was broke and, and broke for good. When she built a clinic, it, it was with equipment that um, was indigenous to Iraq or the local area, uh, equipment that could, in fact, be fixed when it, it, it broke. And, and because the people that she, in fact, um, recruited to work in, in the clinics were from the communities that they served, they, they were accepted and protected. I don't believe we had a single incident at one of your clinics uh, since 2005, zero. Not a single incident. Uh, I asked the Baroness because they were now going to come and take a look at these health clinics. These health clinics had, had shown up like a red flag as they were going around to do, do the inspections they needed to do. And I asked the Baroness if she could give me any documentation so I could show that we had spent this money uh, in the right way. Uh, she came in with four boxes of uh, documentation uh, that contained, contained uh, the, the number of, of encounters that they had had over the 18-month period down to the individual. We turned the whole thing over to Sigur, and they, they told us it was the best spent $2 million that they had seen in the entire war effort.